If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be a new video half half comparing two lipsticks and today I'm gonna be wearing for as long as possible <laughs> two different lipstick formula at the drugstore liquid lipsticks. So my beloved Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink and then on the other side I'm gonna be testing some of the new uh, L'Oreal Rouge, I think, Rouge Signature liquid lipsticks. It doesn't say on it, which I think is silly. Uh, anyway, I tried to find the closest colors to each other, but uh, I'm probably still gonna look a little crazy. I have long since accepted that that would happen on this channel. So <laughs> on one side, I'm gonna be wearing the color Lover. And I adore these. I've raved about these so much. I will link down below. I have like three different lip swatch videos because they keep coming out with more and I am not mad about this. Uh, these are just some of my favorite liquid lipstick generally, not even just at the drugstore because they last forever on the lips. So uh, I'm gonna apply it on my left. You need to apply the tiniest amount, otherwise they will be sticky, but that's what prevents them from being too drying. And they last through everything. You're gonna see that when I try to remove them tonight. Uh, but yes, the applicator I actually really like because it is pointy and there's a little hole with more product in there. So again, love her. And then on the other side, again, the L'Oreal one, I have the color I choose. So this is what that one looks like. This one is definitely more of a mauve pink, and this one is definitely a warmer pink. <laughs> uh, those are the closest ones that I had from each other from this one. This one, the applicator and the formula really, really reminds me of the Lancome uh, Juicy Shakers, which I think are being discontinued or are discontinued. I can't see them anywhere. But since L'Oreal and Lancome are both under L'Oreal, uh, I'm assuming they're probably an exact dupe. But what's funny about these is that whenever you apply them on your lips or your hand, it seems like they're gonna be like see-through, very lightweight, almost glossy, but they actually are fully opaque and uh, they kind of become your lips, which is very, very comfortable. So if you want a liquid lipstick that won't be drying, I feel like this is probably more the way to go. Although you're gonna see that they might not last as long as something that is truly waterproof, kiss-proof, mermaid-proof, sleep with this and it will still be there. So let me apply that one. This one, the applicator is like extra, extra stuff. This literally, like you hide this and I would believe that this is a high-end lipstick. By the way, these smell like uh, cake and these just smells like lipstick, really. I can never get over how they apply. I, I swear, it feels like it's water and then it's fully opaque. It's very impressive to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna give them a minute to fully dry and then we shall do the transfer test and everything. And I think I'm gonna wait for these to dry too to see if I can show you uh, how hard they are to remove or not. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I think they are mostly dry on my lips. So let's do the first uh, transfer test. I'll do it a few times during the day so you can see how they're doing at that point. I don't think they're fully dry on my hand though. I may have applied a bit too much. So let's do this. Okay, you can see that there's a tiny bit of transfer a little bit everywhere on the L'Oreal side and a tiny bit on the inside for the Maybelline one, which I'm assuming there was probably a patch that wasn't fully dry. So both of them I would consider mostly transfer proof. I mean, the Maybelline one fully, uh, the L'Oreal one still a bit transferring at this point. This side though, do I have a dry one? Shoot, this is what happened when you clean and there's no dry wipes, but I'm gonna try with a kind of wet one, <laughs> just to show you, cause it's gonna be fairly easy to see. So L'Oreal, you can remove it with a wipe. And then Maybelline, I kind of wish it was fully dry, but you're gonna see it on my lips today. The part that wasn't dry, you can remove it. The rest, you can't, because that that's your lips now. See what I mean? <laughs> It is there to stay. I did manage to put lipstick literally everywhere though. That's good. Uh, so I'm gonna go on with my day. I will stick to just drinking water probably uh, for the first couple of hours, then come back, do the transfer test again, and then, you know, eat and everything. Basically, so you can see how both formulas will wear, but yes, again, L'Oreal, Maybelline. Let's do this. I was about to eat when I realized I forgot to come back. So it's been like two or three hours and I've just been drinking water and tea and editing videos. So nothing too crazy but uh, I wanted to show you what they look like right now and do one more. There's still a little bit of the Maybelline lipstick because that's a pain to remove, but I'm gonna do the other side. So you can see nothing on the Maybelline side and a bit of transfer still on the L'Oreal one. So again, nothing crazy. They're, they look 
exactly the same. Uh, a little bit of the shine that was on this side is gone now and uh, it definitely feels like it's my lips, you know? My lips are now that color, it's like inside almost, <laughs> uh, even though there's a bit of transfer. And this side is also feeling comfortable, it's definitely matte. It's not feeling sticky anymore. At first it's a little sticky, uh, but yeah, now it's just fine. So I'll go eat and I'll meet you after. I was forgetting about this video. Uh, it's been eight hours since I applied the lipstick. I'm sorry, I'm about to have my second meal, so I wanted to update you. Got sidetracked, life, I was doing laundry and everything. Uh, yeah, so the lipsticks. Let me do one more transfer test before I zoom you in, but tiny bit of transfer on the L'Oreal one, but at this point it's like minimal. And I had a hamburger <laughs> for lunch. So really I put these two to the test. I was like, yeah, I'm ruining this wear test right now. I knew that this side would be fine, but I was a little bit nervous about the L'Oreal one because even though I've been wearing this a few times actually at this point, I don't think any lipstick should really be expected to do that well with uh, a hamburger except a liquid lipstick, which I guess it kind of is. It's just that the formula, again, it just plays with my mind because it's like, too liquidy in my head to be a liquid lipstick, but it is. This is what they look like from close. Demi Blaine one is doing just fine, really. Uh, the L'Oreal one is doing better than expected, like I was saying. It is pretty matte at this point. It did disappear on the inside. I feel like the camera definitely shows it more than in person. It might have moved a little bit here. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, but <laughs> you saw me do it, it's fine. Uh, but you can tell that at this point it feels like it's the color of my lips. Yes, there is some fading, but it's nothing super dramatic because of the color. Obviously it is closer to my lip color. I would normally touch it up at this point if I wanted to wear it longer. But again, for the sake of the lips, <laughs> the lipstick, for the sake of the lipstick, of the wear test, I won't. So I'm gonna go on and eat my dinner and then I will update you one more time afterwards. But not too bad, I think, considering obviously nothing will ever compare, I feel like, to this, but uh, this side is more comfortable. I feel like this one, my lips were very, very dry and irritated. I did a lip swatch video recently, so my lips were like very angry. And this one is doing fine, but it's definitely more comfortable on the L'Oreal side. So if you have dry lips, obviously liquid lipsticks in general are not something I would recommend, but I feel like this one is very, very forgiving. So I'll see you after. Okay, so never mind my forehead. <laughs> I am doing a wear test for the foundation too, uh, but I wanted to update you one last time for the lipsticks. I completely forgot again. The, the day just flew by and I just, uh, it's been over 10 hours I've been wearing these lipsticks. I'm surprised I still have lips. Uh, let's do one last transfer test. I mean, no, <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. So you can see that there's actually still some color left nothing crazy it's not like fully as good as the maybelline one i am shocked because i ate i ate a salad that had um oily dressing and i mean why am i even shocked still this is just glue super glue i feel like the l'oreal one looks more faded in the monitor than it does in person uh eh, let me remove it and you'll see i feel like there's a lot more than See, there's still quite a bit, especially in the bottom. So there was still quite a bit of color left. Uh, at this point, I, I don't expect my lipsticks to last me 10 hours. <laughs> I feel like if they can last me through, you know, a meal or like those super intense like, lipstick last me, you know, a couple hours after a meal, maybe not the second meal, but you know, still be there mostly. As long as they fade nicely, which I don't have an issue with the Maybelline one, the L'Oreal one, they're very, very comfortable. And this one, I mean, looks as I applied it, which apparently I had done a pretty poor job this morning. <laughs> but I mean, if I try with a thing, it's not gonna move. Like you're removing some, but it's gonna be there. Uh, usually I recommend either using a makeup remover, cleansing balm, or in a pinch, you can always use your lip balm to just, you know, help remove it. So this is it. I feel like in those videos, sometimes I'm trying to find exact dupes or I'm trying to really just compare the formulas. And right now 
I like both formulas. I'm aware that like if your goal is to make it, you know, last as long as possible, then the Maybelline one is clearly the winner. But uh, I find that the L'Oreal one is also very, very comfortable. So I feel like this will appeal to certain people. I will just keep using both because I enjoy both. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this wear test. I'm gonna go and wash off my face and go to bed because I am tired. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and this might have answered any questions that you had. If there's anything else, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed those type of half half wear test videos. Subscribe to not miss any future ones and I will be putting on the screen more videos that are going to check out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.